So, you've been selected for jury duty. But now what? Where do you go? What do you do? Hi, I'm Ethan, and I work with the Delaware County Courts here in Muncie, Indiana, and I'm here to help you prepare for jury service. Many look at jury duty as a hassle, a waste of time and an inconvenience. But jury duty is much more than this. It's your civil responsibility as an American. Fair and just trials are the cornerstone of the American justice system. The Sixth Amendment of the United States Constitution guarantees in all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury of their peers. It's up to you and your fellow Americans to uphold this most sacred birthright. About a week before the trial begins, you should receive a jury summons with instructions on when and where to arrive for service. Bring the summons section to the Justice Center with you for identification purposes. The day before you are scheduled to arrive, make sure to call the court administrator's office and confirm the date and time of your arrival. You do not want to show up late for jury duty. Once every juror is present, you will enter the courtroom. Then you will be oriented by a judge, watch a short video, and then be placed under oath. The attorneys, and sometimes the judge, will begin questioning a group of jurors placed in the designated seating area. The plaintiffs and defendants' attorneys are allowed to strike or request to excuse certain jurors. The striking can be for various reasons, so please do not be offended if you are stricken from the prospectus panel. During the selection process, you may be excused for a host of reasons. You may be excused if serving would cause undue hardship on you or the public, or if you have some connection or opinion towards the case. These reasons can include immediate family members being related to someone involved in the case, having a financial interest in the case, having an obvious prejudice or bias, or forming an opinion about the case. Legally, your employer cannot refuse to give you time off for jury duty, nor can they harass or fine you for your jury service. There are also some laws giving similar protections to students. If you are struck, then your experience is over. If not, congratulations, you are officially a juror. So what's expected of you as a juror? First, the judge will ask the panel of jurors to be placed under an oath. Then, the judge will read you preliminary instructions, which will give you more insight as to your responsibility as a juror. You will be expected to weigh the evidence presented to you. This could involve weighing the facts and deciding whether the witnesses are credible. You will be expected to follow the judge's instructions. You will not, however, be expected, nor will you be allowed to do any outside research of your own. You will be asked to keep an open mind and avoid from forming any opinions until you have weighed all of the evidence. Do not do any internet research during the trial. Doing so could introduce opinions and biases into your judgment. Keep in mind that you are not allowed to discuss the case with anyone outside the jury pool during the trial until after final deliberations. Also refrain from posting anything on social media about having jury duty. After closing arguments, the judge will read final instructions that instruct the jury on the law before you escort into a conference room. Prior to leaving the courtroom for deliberations, the judge will instruct you on the procedure for asking questions or requesting the view exhibits and evidence. A foreperson is selected by popular vote. The foreperson is responsible for leading the discussion. From here, the group must come to a unanimous verdict before deliberations may be completed. Once you reach a verdict, you will be led back into the courtroom and the judge or foreperson will read the verdict to the court. After that, your civic duty is complete. In Indiana, if you appear for jury duty, whether or not you serve, you will not be summoned again for at least 24 months. You also receive some compensation for your time in jury duty. All jurors summoned will receive $15 a day and 36 cents per mile just for appearing and those selected to serve on the jury are paid $40 a day and 36 cents per mile. There are some employers who will pay you the difference in your normal pay and the $40 you receive from serving as a juror. You'll need to check with your employer to determine their policy on personnel serving on jury duty. And there you have it. Now you know exactly what to do if you're ever summoned for jury service. If you have any questions, always make sure to contact your local court administrator's office for more information. Good luck in there, and make sure you do your civic duty.